Small left up your ass, Johnson, and this is my Uncharted 4 review for the PS4. And let me start off by saying I had to sell lots of bags of crack just to afford this shit and get this fucking console hooked up to my fancy ass TV out here and play this game and pay for that motherfucking PSN, whatever that bullshit is, just trying to nickel and dime me out of money. Gonna have to sell more bags of crack every month now. Shit ain't right, motherfucker. This review is gonna contain some spoilers, so if you don't like that shit, you better hang up right now, because if you complain, you're gonna eat shit and die, and I'll make sure that happens, and if I don't make sure that happens, Queen's gonna sit on your face with her greasy-ass, chicken-smelling, dirty asshole. And you probably like that shit, that's why you're gonna complain. But anyway... Let's start off by talking about the graphics. I can see clearly now the rain is gone. I can see all obstacles in my way. Graphics are really good in this game. They may not be the best graphics ever seen out there ever, but for a home console game, it's like putting on a nice pair of glasses and all of a sudden it looks really good. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, when I, I took my microscope out and went up to the TV, and I could see all the little, uh, little stubbles of pubes on Nathan Drake's cock, because he shaves that shit, and I didn't meet, need to make sure the details were there, and they were there, and his ass looked kind of nice when he hanging off a cliff, but, uh, not as good as Queen's ass, if you know what I'm saying. And, uh, Nathan Drake's wife, pretty, pretty good for a white girl, but, uh, a little too thin for me. Drake had a better ass than her, so, you know, I don't know what the designers were thinking. They could have done a better job making the characters look good. Well, let's talk about the story. Everybody loving the character development and uh, the story in this game. I will say the story is probably a little bit better than the other Uncharted games. Because their stories suck ass. They're just... Bullshit. This one is a little more cohesive, but then it really doesn't make any sense either. Fucking, uh, well, I'm not gonna say much, but there's gonna be some weird logic gaps in this story. And a lot of time spent on what people are calling character development, but it's really just telling a lot of bad jokes. So, uh, now we'll start about the game. I put this game in, and the first... Three and a half hours was just walking around, walking around, climbing, a uh, quick time event fight, uh, clicking some items, looking at them, uh, maybe like two or three five minute gun battles, but in three and a half hours, that's, that's just uh, really bad pacing. Game was boring me to tears, I just wanted to shut it off because... I was getting bored. I started looking in other places to see if I could find some marijuana or cocaine because if I could have, it probably would have made the game a lot better. But anyway, game finally starts to pick up. Oh, let me get back to that. In that three hours, that motherfucking game made me make my motherfucking wife some dinner. It made me click things to make her dinner. Come on. How can you waste my time anymore? Bitch can just go out to motherfucking KFC, get herself and me a whole bucket of chicken, and give me a blowjob with no button clicking. Don't even put it in the game. It ain't even worth it. Send her out here and she'll do it for me. All right, after that three and a half hours of bullshit, we finally start our what seems to be the main, uh, main story part, the main story, if you can't understand me because, you know, I might not be the most understandable person, so shit, fuck you. Anyway, when I started that, I noticed, alright, we're gonna just walk around and climb. And let me tell you why I think climbing is like walking. Because there ain't much thought into the climbing. Every once in a while, you gotta turn the camera to make sure you're going the right way. But... Climbing is pretty much walking while you mashing the X button. It is motherfucking on-rail climbing. It is not real platforming. There is no thought to it. So most of this game now, I'm just walking and climbing and walking and climbing. 
I am getting bored. Then on top of that, they throw in a motherfucking car. Yeah, this gonna be cool. We gonna do some cool shit with the car, right? Nope. It's just a replacement for walking and climbing. Nothing happens in this car. You're just driving around to get from point to point while they tell bad jokes. Shit. This is not a good game and it's not even a good interactive movie. It's just driving and walking. I am so bored. So anyway, let me uh mention that the boat is exactly the same thing. I got some notes here that I'm reading because Quita, Quita was like, yeah, you got to have some notes so you know what you're talking about. And so I made some notes. Fuck that shit. So anyway, <clears throat> the gameplay in this game has not improved. Not since 2007. It's the exact same goddamn gameplay. It's still motherfucking clunky as shit. Delayed clicking and clenching onto walls that I did not want to attach to motherfucker. And then like, it, it, there are parts when I'm climbing and it won't let me jump to an area that's like three inches away. So I moved left and then I moved back right exactly where I was. And now it will let me attach to it. I don't know what the fuck is going on with this game. It's so weird. Very, very clunky. Uh, the shooting mechanics, I guess, are all right. They're passable. They're pretty much average average to above average maybe i've seen better but they're not bad but geez this motherfucking clunky ass movement and climbing has not improved in the last nine years i don't know what the fuck they've been doing besides making longer boring ass scripts and better graphics so they tacked on the uh the axe the little pickaxe they stole from tomb raider that uh, they had no reason to even put in there. They barely used it. And when they did, it didn't even make any sense. Because it's making you attach to this little gap that they just inserted there. Where normally there would have been a rock you would have just landed on. So like, why the fuck even put it in there? If you could use that shit to cut up your crack rock. And make Nathan Drake have a nice little, uh, you know, a crack high. Game would have been way better. That's what I'm saying to you. No crack in that game at all. Stupid. Alright, I got another complaint. All the boss battles, or what you might want to consider a boss battle, like against that hot black girl in the very end. They're all glorified quick time events, and uh, that's about it. QTE, sort of cutscenes. You don't really do much, you just hit a button or two. I really wanted to roll in the battle against the black girl so I could look up her... Uh, you know, upper crotch. Even if she was wearing pants, I still wanted to see that angle just to see how she looked. But nope, couldn't roll even though it was a hand-to-hand -hand combat. It was a motherfucking cutscene. Game is, uh... Motherfuckers say, yeah, Uncharted's always so good. Graphics and highly polished. It's naughty, dog. They're so good. But I ran into some glitches in this game. Me, I, I you know, I'm a very action-oriented guy. So I motherfucking tried to roll against this wall, attach and shoot people, but the motherfucking game made me roll right through the motherfucking wall. What the fuck is that shit? Glitch. Then we got another motherfucking glitch where I am shooting and whatever, and all of a sudden we got flying pieces of shit right in front of me. I think that is a piece of shit. Just standing there right in front of me or floating there. I don't even know what it was doing, and it's in the air. So what the fuck? I don't even get it. Another little thing I gotta say is like, this game never really had many exciting set pieces either. I've seen better set pieces in Quantum Break. Yes, I am saying I saw better set piece manipulation in Quantum Break. And Uncharted is known for the set piece manipulation. This one fails in that one. Uncharted 2 and 3 is way better. I don't know what's going on. Damn, spent way too much time dilly-dallying around making this world rather than making it play well or having exciting things going on. Anyway, I just wanted to say, uh, in conclusion, this game, just way too much filler, way too much story development, which makes it long and drawn out of not doing anything really but walking, driving, and climbing, which are really the same goddamn thing. And uh, my favorite part of this game, it was dying. Dying was my favorite part of this game. If I had to give this game a review, I would ask 
for a trash bag full of crack given to me to play this game. That's how great or not great it's shit. It really is shit. It looks good, but good looking shit. And that's all I got to say. Bye, motherfucker. OG Gangster Lane. Now after I ship, your face wipes an ass clean. Time to